we want to find the unit vector in the direction of the given vector, graphed here in blue. So if we call the blue vector vector v, because the initial point is at the origin, zero comma zero, and the terminal point is at the point negative four comma two, the component form of vector v would have an x component of negative four and a y component of positive two. Our goal here is to find the unit vector in the same direction as vector v, which should be this small red vector here that has a magnitude or length of one. So to find this unit vector, next we'll find the magnitude or length of this blue vector. Then we'll multiply vector v by one over the magnitude, or take vector v and divide by the magnitude. The formula for the magnitude of vector v is given here. Sometimes you'll see this expressed using just one pair of vertical bars. But either way, the magnitude of vector v is equal to the square root of negative four squared plus two squared, which would be the square root of 16 plus four, or the square root of 20. And since the square root of 20 can be expressed as the square root of four times five, and the square root of four is equal to two, this simplifies to two square root of five. So the magnitude or length of vector v is equal to two square root five, and therefore to find the unit vector in the direction of vector v, we'll multiply vector v by one over the magnitude. So we'd have one over two square root five times vector v, or if we want we can express this as vector v divided by two square root five. So this would give us an x component of negative four divided by two square root five, and a y component of two divided by two square root five. Well, these components do simplify. Two and four share a common factor of two. There's one, two, and two. Two twos and four. And two over two simplifies to one over one. So the unit vector in the direction of vector v could be expressed with an x component of negative two divided by square root of five and a y component of one divided by square root of five, which again would be this red vector here. But just in case you are expected to rationalize the components, let's go ahead and show how to rationalize these denominators. So if we have negative two divided by square root of five, we can rationalize the denominator by multiplying by square root of five over square root of five, which would give us negative two square root of five over five. And then for one over square root of five, again we multiply by square root of five over square root of five, giving us square root of five over five. So another way to express the same unit vector in the direction of vector v we could express the x component as negative two square root five over five, and the y component as square root five over five. For our class, I'm perfectly fine with leaving the x and y components in this form here. But you may want to check with your instructor. I hope you found this helpful.